Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. I finally convinced myself to do the strawberry girl makeup, okay? There's so many like different trends going around, TikTok specifically, latte makeup, tomato girl, strawberry girl, who knows what food is next. This one was kind of coined by Hailey Bieber is what I saw go viral, although it's very similar to tomato girl makeup. So basically it's like a summery, fresh type of a tutorial. I watched Hailey Bieber's TikTok and I pulled all the types of products that she used. I might tweak it a little bit to suit me a little bit more and my preferences, but I'm basically gonna be doing the same thing. She doesn't wear foundation in this, so that's also something that I'm gonna try not to do. We'll see how that goes. But we're gonna start off with prepping the skin. She used her Rode Glazing Milk. I actually love this stuff. I love this stuff. It's so good. So I'm gonna take a bit of this on my hands and just prep the skin. I've actually never applied makeup on top of this right after. Like I've never prepped my skin for makeup with this, but I use it morning and night. So technically it's underneath my makeup, but I've never done it like right before a tutorial. So I'm excited to see how it looks. She also uses her Rode Peptide Glazing Fluid. So I'm gonna take a little bit of mine. I love this stuff as well. So I'm gonna just apply that on top. And then she says she brushes up the brows. I'm gonna take my spoolie and just brush these up. I definitely need to fill them in, but I'll do that later, I think. And then she goes in with cream bronzer next. So um, I grabbed my NARS cream bronzer, the Laguna 01 bronzer. It just suits my skin tone a little bit better. It's not too dark. So I'm just gonna go straight in with this bronzer on top of the skincare. She made sure to add some to the forehead. She literally just did bronzer and concealer. So we'll see how this goes for me. <laughs> I usually feel like I need a little bit more than just bronzer and concealer, but I'm really trying to stay true to the aesthetic of this look. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but we turned the background pink, which is kind of fun. All right, now that my face is warmed up with bronzer, she went all over the face with some concealer. I'm gonna be using the new Tower 28 concealer. She did like very strategic placements actually. Let me open up her video. Okay, so she did a little on her chin. Looks like she's got some here, here, two dots on the sides of the nose, one little dot here and here, and then we've got a little bit right there. Okay, and then she takes this exact hourglass brush. I don't remember what it's called, but I'll have it linked down below. She just kind of like shapes out the rest of the face. I've got a little blemish on the side of my nose, so I'm gonna try to cover that a bit. But it's actually nice how the concealer creates a bit of structure around the bronzer. I'm taking what's left on the concealer brush and adding a bit more coverage to like the jawline where I have a little more discoloration. Then other than that, I'm just blending it all out. That actually looks so good. I was very skeptical with just the bronzer situation, but this actually looks so nice. And I'm somebody who really loves coverage, you know, but it still gave me coverage with the concealer. Pretty, okay. And then she says she mixes two cream blushes that she can't talk about. So I'm assuming that Rode is gonna be launching cream blushes. Um, but I wanted to use my favorite cream blushes, which are the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge. Um, she mixes two, I'm assuming they're like pink and red. So I'm taking the shade Rose and Pale Pink. She uses her fingers for this, so I'm just gonna kinda like do the same and mix these two together and then press it into the skin with my fingers. I'm gonna Put some on the other side of the face too. Mixing the red and the pink. This is such a different way of doing my makeup. I know a lot of people do their makeup like this these days, but I'm in such a habit of just my own way of doing things. So this is kind of different for me to like plop blush on with my fingertips, not wear foundation when I'm doing like a more makeup-y kind of a look. I think this color looks really nice mixed together. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take the hourglass brush and just kind of like smooth the edges just a bit. Then she said in the video, she did like a voiceover. She said she used like a peachy highlight. I went through my stuff and I found this Armani highlight. It has a little bit of a peachy undertone. So I'm just gonna use this. It's a liquid highlighter. And she just applied that to the high points of the face. So I am going to do the same. Just on the cheeks though, it looks like. I don't think she applied it anywhere else, but I guess we could. I'm gonna put a little bit right here and a little bit above the Cupid's bow. By the way, the Fluid Sheer is the shade two. I know they have a few different shades, so that's the color I used. 
And then she uses bronzer on the eyelids. I don't know if she uses the cream that she had before or a powder. I'm somebody who needs powder on the eyes, I feel like. So I'm just gonna chuck a little bit of my Milani bronzer onto the eyelids. This is where I'm very not familiar with things. She actually uses a freckle pen. I don't have a freckle pen, so I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever, what is this, eyeliner? Eye slash lip liner. I'm gonna create a little bit of faux frecklage across the nose. As I apply the freckles, I just press them into the skin so that they look as natural as possible. I actually don't get freckles across the nose. I have some freckles on the sides of my face, which I'm gonna draw over just to add to the freckled effect. Okay, I don't wanna overdo this. And it might not be as obvious as some people's freckle pens or whatever, but this is like the level I feel comfortable with as far as it looking semi-natural for me. I feel like I need more coverage on this little blemish here though. So I'm just gonna add a bit more there. Okay, this is where I'm gonna kind of improvise a little bit. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the Huda Beauty powder, but this is the cherry shade. So it has a little bit of a pink undertone to it. And I'm just somebody who loves a little hint of powder over top of my larger pores right here. So I am going to add that. She doesn't add powder, at least not that I know of. But for me, that's just something that I feel like I need to feel like comfortable throughout the day. I'm just gonna focus it on the T-zone though because I love the look of the more like dewy cheek situation. All right, I feel like we need brows. She has pretty full brows. I'm actually gonna do brow gel first. I've been trying this. I've only worn it a couple of times, but I really like it so far. It's the brand new Rare Beauty brow gel and it just really holds the brows well in place. It's almost a mixture between a brow gel and a brow wax is kind of how I feel is the best way to describe it. I'm really enjoying it so far. So we want a little bit of like a fluffier brow moment with this look. So I think once that dries, I think it would be best if I went with a brow pen to fill my brows a bit. So this one is what I have. This is the NYX brow pen. And I'm just gonna start filling in my brows with this on the end of the brows and then kind of working my way into the center a little bit more. I decided to add just a little bit more freckles with the brow pen actually, just the tiniest bits to have a little more something. All right, now I'm gonna do mascara. I'm gonna opt for a black brown mascara. I just feel like that's gonna really suit this look. So this one's from Thrive Cosmetics. I'm just gonna put some of that on the top lashes first, and then maybe just a tiny bit on the lower lashes. And then she takes the same lip liner. Actually, she had a little eyeliner actually, which I forgot to do, I realize. She did like a little baby wing eyeliner. I'm not sure if this is recommended but I'm taking the brow pen because <laughs> it's brown and I'm creating like a little baby wing with that. Okay, now we're gonna put on the Endless Cacao lip liner on the lips. I don't know if it was this color she used, but it seemed like something more brown. I know she wears the shade Wherever Walnut a lot as well, but she applied this and then kind of smudged it out with her fingers. And then she took the cream blushes she was using and applied those to the lips. So I'm gonna mix both colors again. Just like that. I feel like I want a little more blush on my cheeks, just like right here on the high points. So I'm actually taking what's left on my fingertips from applying it on the lips, putting a little more on the cheeks. And then she added a little bit of her strawberry flavored peptide glazing fluid. I don't have that one yet. I think I'm gonna be receiving it in PR. I hope so anyway. I'm just gonna use my other flavor. This is the passion fruit flavor, which might throw off the strawberry vibes, but that's okay we still get that gorgeous shine. I'm just gonna assess the situation now. We're almost done though. Just making sure the brows are where I want them to be, making sure the cheeks are as blushed as I want. You guys, I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting to like this as much as I do, especially with how little products are on the face. It's very skincare focused, but I think this looks so good. Let me know what you guys think of this fresh strawberry girl makeup look in the comments down below. Have you been wearing this look? It's basically like a pink toned no makeup makeup look. But since everyone's calling it strawberry makeup, that's what it is right now, I guess. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I genuinely am so surprised at how much I like this. I don't really do this type of a look. Like for me, it's more of an all or nothing situation. Like I'd rather make it look like I'm not wearing makeup at all versus like 
half makeup, half skincare is usually what I reach for, but I mean, I'm catching the vibe. I'm really understanding why so many people go for this type of a look. Let me know in the comments down below if you are a strawberry girl or are you a tomato girl? Are you a latte girl? What kind of makeup look are you into right now? <laughs> and which fruit do you think we will be doing our makeup after next? Comment down below. That's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you.